Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman, a.k.a. the Football History Dude, and I'm here to help you finish your Christmas shopping list and let everyone else over there stiff arm their competition while trying to fight off that trip to fan on Turkey Night. Now, what we did was we partnered with Rochester Sports Autographs, the largest JSA authenticated autograph distributor in the United States, where you can get up to 75% off over 30,000 autographed sports collectibles during this holiday season. They have something for everyone. But how is RSA able to offer such great deals on JSA authentication, you ask? Well, they do this by making deals directly with athletes so there are no extra markups, and they choose to then pass that savings on to you, the customer. Now, all orders from Rochester Sports Autographs are top quality and shipped to your door with top authentication and a money-back guarantee. But hurry up because customers are so stark raving mad for RSA that memorabilia sells out daily. All you have to do is head over to shoprsa.com forward slash SHN. Again, that's shoprsa.com forward slash SHN. So don't wait to bring home your favorites and own a piece of sports history for you and the loved ones on your shopping list this holiday season. Now it's time to take a sports break. A look at sports history on a daily basis. Hello, my friends of sports history. This is Darren Hayes of JerseyDispatch.com. Welcome once again to the Pig Pen, your place for all things great in sports history. And welcome to your December 3rd sports break, where we're going to talk about some great events that happened to some excellent athletes and the jersey numbers that they wore. Before we get to those jersey numbers, let's make sure that you know how to follow us on social media. We are very active on Twitter. We are at Pigskin Dispatch. Also, Facebook, the Pigskin Dispatch, two separate words, the channel that you can listen to and uh, listen not listen to you can read and and listen to and uh you know we'd love to have you dm us on either one of those social media platforms and follow us and uh, we'd love to hear from you now the uniform numbers for december 3rd our numbers 19 48 41 13 44 11 12 30 21 10 14 and a number nine that's going to start off on the calendar date of December 3rd, 1901, at the Major League Baseball meetings. The Milwaukee Brewers franchise was officially dropped from the American League, and they were replaced by the St. Louis Browns. Now, we know that has been since been undone, and eventually the Milwaukee Brewers came back in the league uh, with that name, the Brewers, and they were in the American League, and eventually they were moved from the American League over to the National League. So quite a trip for Brewers fans from Milwaukee over the years. December 3rd, 1933, the Midnight Express. Joe Lillier, number 19, and the quarterback of the Chicago Cardinals was the last African-American player to play in the National Football League until the year 1946. December 3rd, 1943, the ninth Heisman Trophy Award was won by Notre Dame quarterback, number 48, Angelo Bertelli. December 3rd, 1944, a temporary merger of two National Football League teams due to wartime and manpower shortages because folks were overseas fighting. The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Chicago Cardinals dissolves uh, the, the, the merger at the finish of the season. World War II ended before the start of the 1945 season, so both teams resumed normal operations that following year. December 3rd, 1946, the 12th Heisman Trophy Award was won by Army halfback number 41, Glenn Davis. On December 3rd, 1956, a basketball icon, number 13, Will Chamberlain made his much-anticipated varsity debut as he scored 52 points and grabbed 31 rebounds, breaking both all-time Kansas records in an 87-69 victory over the Northwestern Wildcats. 1957 on the 3rd of December, it was the 23rd Heisman Trophy Award, which was won by Texas A&M halfback, number 44, John Crow. December 3rd, 1962, the 1963 NFL Draft, and Terry Baker, number 11 from Oregon State, was the first pick by the Los Angeles Rams. December 3rd, 1979, the 45th Heisman Trophy Award was won by Southern California running back, number 12, Charles White. December 3rd, 1983, the 49th Trophy of Heisman was won by Nebraska running back number 30, Mike Rozier. 
December 3rd, 1988, the 54th Heisman Trophy was won by Oklahoma State running back number 21 at Oklahoma, Barry Sanders. We know he wore number 20 with the Detroit Lions. December 3rd, 1999, Ottawa Senators right winger number 11, Kevin Deneen became the fifth player in NHL history to score 300 career goals and record 2,000 penalty minutes. Picks up a misconduct penalty to help that total in a 7-4 loss to the New Jersey Devils on that night. Quite a bit of uh, penalty minutes. A very aggressive player, I guess you could say, and quite the goal scorer as well. Then December 3rd, 2018, Ballon d'Or, the Real Madrid midfielder, number 10, Luka Modric, won for the first time uh, in 2007 as being the best soccer player in the world, football player that they called it. And he, and he won that over another, number 10, Lionel Messi, and number 9, Cristiano Ronaldo. It was the first time they had not won that award, either one of those. Norwegian striker number 14, Ada Hegerberg was the inaugural women's winner of that award of best soccer player for females in the world. So that is your sports history, your sports break for December 3rd. Glad you could join us. Hope you join us again tomorrow and each and every day as we bring you some great sports history on the dates that the events happened and the uniform numbers that the players wore. Also, you can go to sportshistorynetwork.com, pigskindispatch.com, and jerseydispatch.com. Till tomorrow, everybody, have a great sports history day. To mention that we have a great contest coming out uh, for you that join up with our newsletter and participate in it by reading it and opening up and clicking. We'll be monitoring that. And that some folks that do that will be awarding uh, some special prizes that, that we have coming out. And some of it may be uh, some additions of a great book that you can get in hardcover right now. Great for a Christmas present. It's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and Walmart. And that is Spies on the Sidelines, The High Stake World of NFL Espionage by Kevin Bryant. Uh, Kevin, you would love to have you buy his book, but we're also going to be giving away two ebooks here by the middle of December by folks that are looking at our newsletter. So make sure you take advantage of those opportunities. This penalty kill is almost over. I got to get back out on the ice. But thanks again for joining us for another great edition of Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. We'll see you tomorrow. We invite you to check out our websites, jerseydispatch.com and pigskindispatch.com, not only to see the daily sports history, but to experience the preservation of great events and people that play the games. Find us on Pigskin Dispatch. It's also on social media outlets of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel. You get all your daily sports history. Pigskin Dispatch is happy to be associated with the Sports History Network, the sports headquarters of yesteryear, found at sportshistorynetwork.com. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com. Hey there, sports history fan. This is Arnie Chapman, a.k.a. the Football History Dude, and I hope that you enjoyed this recent episode presented by the Sports History Network and we're able to learn some good old-fashioned sports history knowledge nuggets. I started the Sports History Network back in 2020 with the mission to help podcasters find a community of like-minded sports history nerds, as well as helping aspiring podcasters to start their own shows. We have a little bit over 30 shows on the network right now covering all sorts of sports history, but as far as I'm concerned, we're just at the toothpick in the ocean moment, you know, that can't even figure it out because there's so much more coming. We wanted to create the ultimate headquarters for sports yesteryear, starting with Podcast Network and our website, but we're going to continue to move into other mediums as well. And here's the cool part, because we want you to be part of our team. So if you're interested in starting your own podcast, or maybe being a guest on one of our shows, or who knows, maybe even writing an article for us over on the website, seriously, all you got to do is reach out to us on the contact page over at sportshistorynetwork.com. You can be as technologically savvy as a Neanderthal tapping on a stone trying to figure out this whole hieroglyphics thing back in the day. Again, it doesn't matter because even if you don't understand the whole podcast space, we have a production team that can pretty much help you out with doing everything. All you got to do, head over to sportshistorynetwork.com, head to the contact page, fill it out. That message goes right to me and I'll reach out to you as soon as I can. But for now, dude, I'm through if you're through.